This is USMLE QA, USMLE material presented in a question and answer format structured similar to the first date for the USMLE Step 1 book. Question, what is collagen type IV? Answer, collagen type IV is a type of collagen found in the basement membrane and basal lamina, including in the glomerulus and cochlea, as well as in the lens. Question, what is the function of collagen type IV? Answer, collagen type IV is found in the basement membrane and basal lamina and is responsible for providing structural support in these areas. Question, what are some medical conditions associated with collagen type IV? Answer, defective collagen type IV is associated associated with Alport syndrome, and autoantibodies targeting collagen type IV are seen in good pasture syndrome. Question, what are myofibroblasts and what role do they play in collagen type IV? Answer, myofibroblasts are cells responsible for secretion during the proliferative stage of wound healing and for wound contraction. They play a role in the production and repair of collagen type IV in the basement membrane and basal lamina. Question, what is the role of collagen type IV in basement membrane? Answer, collagen type IV is an important component of the basement membrane providing structural support to the basement membrane and helping to maintain its integrity. Question, how does collagen type IV play a role in the glomerulus and cochlea? Answer, collagen type IV is found in the basement membrane of the glomerulus and cochlea and provides structural support to these areas. Question, what is the role of collagen type IV in the lens of the eye? Answer, collagen type IV is found in the basement membrane of the lens of the eye and provides structural support to the lens. Question, what is Alport syndrome and how how is it related to collagen type IV? Answer, Alport syndrome is a genetic disorder that affects the structure of the basement membrane in the kidney, ear, and eye. This disorder is caused by mutations in the genes that code for collagen type IV, leading to a defective form of the protein. Question, what is good pasture syndrome and how is it related to collagen type IV? Answer, good pasture syndrome is a rare autoimmune disorder that affects the lungs and kidneys. In this condition, the body produces autoantibodies that attack collagen type IV in the basement membrane of the lung and kidney, leading to inflammation and damage to these organs. Question, how is collagen type IV involved in wound healing? Answer, collagen type IV plays a crucial role in the wound healing process. It is secreted by myofibroblasts during the proliferative stage, helping to form a provisional matrix that provides structural support and promotes cell migration to the wound site. In addition, myofibroblasts are also responsible for wound contraction, which helps to bring the wound edges together and reduce the size of the wound. Question, can the defective form of collagen type IV found in Alport syndrome be treated? Answer, Alport syndrome is caused by genetic mutations and there is currently no cure. Treatment typically focuses on managing symptoms such as protein in the urine, high blood pressure, and kidney failure. Question, how is good pasture syndrome treated? Answer, treatment for good pasture syndrome typically involves a combination of therapies to suppress the immune system and reduce inflammation in the lungs and kidneys. This may include corticosteroids, immunosuppressive drugs, and plasma exchange. Question, what are some potential complications of Alport syndrome and good pasture syndrome? Answer, Alport syndrome can lead to kidney failure, hearing loss, and eye problems. Good pasture syndrome can cause lung and kidney damage, and in severe cases, can lead to lung and kidney failure. Thank you for watching our Q&A format video. We hope this helped you learn, review, and retain knowledge needed for the USMLEs. For more information on this topic, check out the link in the description. Now, if you want to take your USMLE prep to the next level, be sure to check out all our courses, which are structured to follow along with the first aid for the USMLE Step 1 book. You can find us at usmleqa.com. And if you're watching this on YouTube, be sure to like and subscribe.